Okay, now we got our our big hinges on here. We've mounted them in the same drilled holes, and uh, these I think they're called 100. And, uh, I'm not real sure. 160 degree opening. These are great for getting the door out of your way, but these are with these small ones. These are your full overlay. See how small they are. I know we talked about it earlier, I'm going to talk about it again. Okay, they, these are your full overlay. These are, or excuse me, yeah, these are your full overlay. These are your inset because you can see the difference in the thickness of the two. All right, well, we're going to mount this one. But now these are box construction because they don't have the little they don't have the little edge keepers like this one does that these will slide up against the edge of the cabinet and stop so you can see the little the stop so that goes back so far that gives you the exact amount that you need to go back for this hinge to be set properly these are a little bit of a pain because you have to measure and there again you have to make your jig in order to get the distance back from the back of your hand, back of your plate to how to the edge of your door or excuse me the edge of your cabinet from here to the edge of your cabinet and then from here to the top of your door and there again it's the same thing is it going to sit flush with the door or is it going to sit back as an overlay okay see so we need to be looks to me like we need to be about three quarters inch from here to the edge because this is a full overlay which means it's going to overlay about 11 sixteenths and then of course the up and down we'll just have to get by measuring from here to the edge of the door to here like I said, this is box construction. See, that's flush with the, the cabinet, so it's going to mount inside there. What we're trying to determine is the edge of the edge of your back plate to the inside of your door. So we got to get that that measurement, which is. Looks about, uh, I'm going to call it 5 eighths. Now th these are adjustable. This has got a little bit more adjustment than the other ones do. Okay, so we need to go back 5 eighths. It means it goes back 5 eighths from here back. So we just marked the 5 eighths, which is about roughly about right there. Okay, so we come from there back is where we're going. Now we need the, the distance from from here to the top of our door. The distance of our door, which is one and we're going to call it 13 sixteenths. Whoops. One and about 13 sixteenths. And so now if we want to go above our rail, then we need to subtract a half an inch from our inch and 13 sixteenths, which is inch and 13 sixteenths and then subtract a half an inch off of that which I know never was very good at math but anyway okay so we've got three quarter then we go one two so that's an inch and a quarter plus one sixteenth which is an inch and five sixteenths oh, excuse me yeah inch and five sixteenths from the top of here down to where we need to mount it so we'll say an inch and five sixteenths inch and five sixteenths. Put my line back. Okay, we got our inch and five sixteenths line. We got our five eighths there. So now our hinge would mount from here back and then up to that line right there. Okay, this is where our hinge is going to mount. Right there and then up. Okay, 
okay mount our door on there and then we can set in our our bottom one we have to remember we're going back five eighths of an inch so we'll just go ahead and mark mark back five eighths okay slide our hinge on if i can get it on there we go there we go tighten the screw up in the back bring it out about half of this whoops lost it there we go okay got that tight let's mount our bottom hinge oh boy that was a trouble all right and then Look at there. It's rubbing in the back before it closes. So what would happen? It would start rubbing the paint off. Okay, there's that one. Adjust this one just here. Okay. There you go. See, now we've got clearance back there. So when the door shuts, it's not going to be dragging the paint off. This side of the door needs to go way up. So that's... Okay, so we get in there that, run that. You can see the, probably see the door moving, I don't know, but anyway. Now you see it brought that way up where it's supposed to go. That's the box mount. Now let's go to the style mount.